What do you say to people that say that uh, pastors, prophets, you know, like yourself, uh, you guys are corrupt, you are laundering money through your churches, uh, you pray on young girls to rape them and give them babies uh, and stuff like that. What do you say when you hear that? Uh, that's why we started Church Monday Turnaround Movement uh, to say, what is the mandate of the church? What is the mandate of Christ? Preach, make disciples of Christ. Christian is being Christ-like, to, to, to share what God has done. And uh, I'm not a judge of the pastors and all that, but uh, there are those who are doing that because they are business people, because they are mafias who infiltrated the church. And, and Jesus said, read Matthew 24, in the last days, there will be more false prophets. They will come in my name. Mm. Not in the name of the devil. They will lose. And some will say, we cast out demons in your name. But the difference is they don't point people to Christ. People worship them. People honor them above God. So we need to move people like, I have spiritual sons. But it shouldn't be an issue. Now people are becoming sons of Pastor Mboro above being sons of God. That's where the problem is. Now, if Prophet Mboro does something wrong, now, uh, he must defend. He, 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 no, 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 no. If I have done wrong, I must repent like everybody else. Ask for a second chance. Yeah. And, and, and be, I am not Christ. And this thing of pastors occupying the position of the one who died and rose. What did Jesus say? Man will say, I did this. He'll say, I don't know you. So be careful to follow someone who is not known. It, Jesus said by their fruits, you can't get power by sleeping and raping women. You can, that power, you want a temporary glory. You want temporary money. There is life after death. We're all going to die some, 